Well, hello. Welcome to Drawing with Fire. I'm Valerie, your neighborhood biography artist. I'm joined with Hubby. Okay. Hey, look. Cup caps. Now they're rims. And today we are going to do, <laughs> by request, a car. Now, I've never done a car, ever, but I feel confident I can do this car because of all the skills I've got from doing everything else. I can do this. So, this is a 1966 Corvette. I won't be selling it, so I just pulled the photo off of the internet because I really wanted a good photo that didn't have, like, the reflections where you could see people and buildings and the car. Even though those can be interesting, I didn't want those. So this was a car that was for sale on some luxury site, and I went ahead and pulled it from there. Anyway, we're going to get started. The first thing I'm going to do is put in my highlights with the white charcoal so I don't lose those because those are really important on all the areas. And then we're going to go into the rims and the tires because we can't really see the front of the grill. So what we got here are our eyes right here. And if I screw them up, why can I not see chat? If I screw them up, then guess who gets to start over again? Because you do. Yeah. There we go. There's chat. I don't know why the chat was hiding. I don't know. I'm, I see chat, but that's on this device. Alright. Hey, Barb, Sheila, Spence, Teresa, Andrea. I know Andrea had to. He has a doctor's appointment, so he's not mm. in. But he's going to watch when he comes back, so I'm going to say hi okay. to her anyway. Alrighty. And, hey, Burl. Did I miss Burl? Yeah, I think I missed Burl. So what I'm going to do is pull my photo. This is only a 5 by 7 I kept it small. I'm only expecting two lives off of this one, but we did have a request, or I did, in the group to do a car or a still life. And honestly, I'm not a gearhead, so I was like, hey, I really don't want to do a car. But then I got to thinking, other people do cars, and they might need help. So I figured I would go ahead and do one just to change things up a little bit. So all I'm doing right now is putting in so I don't lose my whites. And this is where all of the bright, bright whites are at. So I need to make sure I save those. One thing, and it doesn't, my transfer honestly looks crappy. I did not make a pattern. I just transferred directly from the photo and that does tend to make a difference but um, getting your lines as straight and accurate as possible is paramount in getting this right if your ovals for the tires your circles and ovals look off then your car is going to look off if your straight lines aren't straight like they should be that's going to throw your car off just like with a building, everything needs to be spot on with this in, in order for it to look realistic. And I'm on birch. I had thought about doing basswood, but I didn't feel like cutting some basswood, so I didn't do it. Just putting in wherever these high highlights are. They'll need to go brighter later. This is just for now. So I can see what is going on. <clears throat> and I thought about adding color, but no. <laughs> I don't think it'll look right. I, no. I, I was going between doing this on paper and doing it on wood, and I think with the high highlights, the chrome will look better. So that's why I went ahead and, ch and chose the wood. I think I got enough white in. You see, because the bark is sanded so well, there's not enough tooth to grab a lot of the white. So my ovals are really off here, so I'm going to have to be really, really careful on putting those in. Well, there is a little deformation on the, the there's a ring on the tire. Mm-hmm. And I know it's off. I couldn't get it oh, straight. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I know. I just couldn't get it right. 
Man, I, I hate But I'll burn it right. I hate ellipses. They're like... Because... But yeah, for because, this, they're really important. Yeah, I know, but, but anything like glasses, like the rims of glasses or anything like that, if, if they're not on, like right on, then your eye can pick them out immediately and, and it throws the whole thing off. Now, I didn't put a background, but I am going to put the shadow in. The shadow is what's going to make it pop out more. The shadow along with the, the bright white highlights is what's going to make it look more fit. Uh, uh, photo realist. So I am on three with the small spear shader and I'm going to go ahead get the wheel well in and do some negative burning around the tire. Be careful, make sure I get this straight and accurate as I can. See if I would have done a pattern I think it would have been more accurate because I would have been able to see on the computer where everything's at. Whereas going from the photo, I, I know I'm off. There were things I couldn't make out. So, that was just a good reminder as to why I like doing a pattern from the computer. Alrighty. So this is where a very dark shadow is. And if we don't get this right, those who enjoy cars, who are the real gearheads who know these cars, they will know if it is off. And that's really important, especially if you're doing a commission or you're trying to sell a piece. If your car is off, it will not sell because they know. Just like if there's something you're really into, you know when something's off. Those who collect cars, they know every little mark. Yep. <coughs> so if you're wanting to do this for business, you got to practice getting it just right. Some of it you can kind of BS, but the lines and the details, like we can't see the Corvette symbol here or here. We just kind of have the, the emblems as a place marker because we can't see the details. So That'll be fine as long as I get the shape right. Yeah. But it is imperative I get these lines right. You're right about that. Any little thing. Mm hmm. If it doesn't feel right, they're just not going to be interested in your piece. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, especially if it's wrong for some reason, because sometimes from model to model, there's many mm -hmm. differences. And they're like, clearly this is a 67 Corvette, not a 66. I try to be really careful about exactly that. Yeah. Um, I spend a lot of time. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this piece. I probably, I don't know that I'm going to hang on to it, but we'll see. Uh, Teresa has a question. Mm -hmm. What do you use for doing a pattern on PC? I use my drawing monitor and Photoshop. Mm -hmm. Gotta get these right. I think there's a lot of different things that you could use that, right? Mm -hmm. You can use GIMP. That's a free version of... There is a learning curve, just like with Photoshop. Um, GIMP's been going for a long time. Yeah. But there's there's videos on YouTube to learn. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. YouTube is amazing. Like, you know. If I can guess about anything. Uh, yeah, if I was told, you know, you know, 30 years ago. I, okay. I just realized I didn't go up. Sorry, guys. Oh, I've been watching you. Well, I keep moving the border out because oh, okay. I'm putting in the darkest part of the room. Yeah. Yeah, if I had been told 30 years ago that you could literally find almost anything online, I, I would have... I, I wouldn't have believed it. Like, I think most of us wouldn't have. Let's see here. Yeah. So we have very... There we go. There's my circle. I was trying to find my circle. Couldn't find it. I'm just going to tap it in there. I know there's more information in there. I can always scratch out a little bit of white that's in there. Teresa says draw, drawing board, did you say? I think she meant like, which drawing board. Um, 
it's my that it's a drawing monitor oh. where I can draw directly onto it. You can also use a drawing pad that hooks up to the computer that you um, use like a pen. I am sorry. I gotta get my yawns out. You do. I don't know. I think it's because I moved around because I was sitting in one place for so long. Let's see here. That's a little short. Yeah. So you use a a graphic tablet. Yes, thank you. That's the word. Yeah. Yeah. But, but you can use a drawing tablet. But that's not <coughs> necessary. Mm -mm. I mean, you can do it all. The tablet sure makes it easier though. But like you don't need a high end tablet. Like, like you can use um a, 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 Never yeah, the drawing, the Wacom, Wacom, Wacom. yeah, Wacom, Wacom, yeah, um, drawing tablets. Yep, there's. I have those. Uh, I have them listed on my Amazon. Oh, okay. Um, page. Yeah, I started out with a bamboo. Um, yeah. I took that to deployment, and that worked really well with uh, with the laptop that I had. So I was able to to do digital art. I really haven't done digital art since then. Since they come back, I've done uh, physical art mostly. Yeah, I'm trying to get this room right. Because if I get this ellipse wrong, it's going to cause problems. Well, Teresa says she uses a light board. You do too for some stuff, though. Since I started, since we got the, um, since we got the graphic tablets, yeah. I haven't been using mine oh, as much. Oh, okay. Do you think you'll go back to it? Um, I really like my graphic tablet. Okay. Considering we spent a lot of money on it. Yeah. See, my ellipse is off. That's the bottom of the rim. No, it is a little flattened on the bottom. Yeah, I just realized I went to the wrong line. Shoot fire! There we go. It's this line. This was a part of my orange line. <coughs> Shoot! Arr. See? I mess up all the time. Yeah, I don't like, um, me personally, I don't like drawing um, cars for this reason because there's a lot of, like, straight lines or lines well, that are curved in specific I areas. have my homemade glass ruler for the straight lines. Yeah. Yep. It's just, it, it adds an extra level of complexity that I know I'm not fond of. Some people love this. Some yeah, people... and that's why I figured I'd go ahead and do it. Yeah. Because at first I was like, yeah, I'm not interested in that. But then I got to thinking there are people who are interested in it. And just because I'm not... Doesn't mean I can't help them. And just because I've never done one doesn't mean I can't help. Because all of our shading that we practice for everything else all works here. All of it. So it doesn't matter what um, technique was. It doesn't matter what subject you're burning. If you've gotten your gradient shading down, that's about to hit that and that's wrong. It's up here. See, I think I transferred wrong. But I caught it. Uh, and I did change the perspective on this car. I pulled out the front more. Did you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because um, I, in Photoshop, I upped Let's see here, the front end, and when I'm doing that, it pulls it out so that the back end's smaller and the front end's bigger. I wanted to see a little bit more of the, of the grill. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I changed it just a tad. Like I said, I'm not going to sell this. So. But I did get off on my draft store. I thought I was on. That's always a hard thing. But I made it more of an oval than a round. Well, I mean, it is an oval. It is, but it's more roundy than I've got. 
drawn out. So I just try to I'm just using the tip. I haven't changed the temperature. I'm just trying to cut that line in because that is a dark line around the wheel. So I'm just trying to. So this is where my orange is, and the way I laid out the line was the front line here was the to the right of it, and then over here was the other. Here was the orange is in between those two lines. So now I gotta figure out how to fix. Oh no, I'm still okay. I'm still okay. Whew. Uh, yeah, I should still be okay. Put that in there. Now I didn't take like all week off from burning. I spent all week working on Nausea. <coughs> I need to post a photo. <coughs> Excuse me. In uh, the super secret group to show them where I'm at. You basically you did like backlog work. You mean like stuff that you've been meaning to do. So. Finish. Yeah. Yeah. So you actually. No, I think it just needs to be darkened. Um, and that's it. Alright, let's bring this out. Now the tire is not completely black because of where the light is hitting. Yeah. So I've got to pay attention to that. But I do have a dark shadow right along this part, right under the rim. I apologize. I'm sitting back here yawning, and it's not you. I just, it's I, me. I up late last night. It's me. And, and I'm I, boring no, you. No, not at all. Alright, I just wanted to get in, laid in the rim, and then I'm going to lower my heat so we can start going into the rim. I'm going to go ahead and lower down to two because now we're hitting chrome, and that I would prefer to go light with the chrome first, and then I can darken up. Yeah. Well, I think it's going to be a pretty light value, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I do have my... Here, I'll pop up the rest of the... Um, what's up, yeah? Oh, there, we there we go. See, even with it being a, a medium blue, we can still see, based on the sepia, it's darker than your eye may think. <coughs> what's interesting is that... Red does the same thing. What's interesting is that if you looked at that car and sepia, you really know which color it was. Nope. When I was a kid, and we, we only had a black and white TV, and we used to watch Starsky and Hutch, and it's a red car with a white stripe, mm -hmm. but I was convinced as a child, I was just absolutely positive that it was a blue car, <laughs> and it freaked me out when the first time I saw a color TV because the car was red, and it just, it's kind of a weird thing when you you know, you see something in, in uh, monochrome. So long. You just don't know. Yep. So. Teresa says, circles are the worst to do for me. I agree. I don't, you know, I like to do lots of organic shapes in my heart because, um, because then <coughs> there's not really a comparison for them. But, I mean, technically a circle is not any harder than anything else, but. Mm -hmm. but Spinning it, the board is definitely important. But mentally, it's hard for me, and like I do all that planetary art, and I have to get the circles, uh, of, you know, I have to get the shape of the planets correct, otherwise they don't look right. And I, I don't think I've ever been 100% happy with any circle that I've done. Hmm. Just paying attention and spinning the board will help a little bit. And next month, because I only ex I expect to be done with this rather quickly. Um, Teresa found an awesome photo for the group for next month. Oh yeah. It's a uh, Asawan and Halloween and uh, Diaz de Muerte coming. It's a still life of a Diaz de la, de la Muerte's um, skull, Candy's sugar skull. On books with some rose petals is like an awesome photo. It's very gothic. It is, and I'm excited to do it. I almost switched over to that, but it's a lot more detailed, and we're going to be doing that for yeah. October. Yeah, it looks, it looks 
really cool. It was an awesome find. Good, good job, Teresa. Yep. Uh, Blaze Metan Art says, looks like you sanded the wood for highlights. Looks good. Uh, the wood is sanded so I can burn on it. The highlights that are on it, um, I drew at the beginning of the live with the General's Charcoal White. And you, you did that as a resist, right? Not so much a resist. As a marker? As a marker for my brain. Okay. I mean, that's going to be white anyway. Oops, wrong board. Um, it was done, yeah. I don't like using it as a resist because the way it burns. Yeah. Burns ugly. Just trying to get this stuff in. As far as the sanding goes, I think I've never really, not in the past. I've only accidentally forgot to sand once. Yeah, I was going to say, in the past it was 10, an 10 years, you go usually to 400, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's your standard. Time. Let's see. Here. It's weird, though, when you go to paper because it actually looks rough in comparison to the sanded wood. It depends, yeah, it depends on what paper you're using. Blaze I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It says, ah, oh, cool. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so I got lines I can erase, but I'm actually a little nervous to do that. You see, these cutouts of the rim need to be, they're longer than what I drew. Regarding her um, reference photo that you're going to use for. It's on Unsplash. Teresa says, thank you. I liked it as well. No, that was a really good pick, and I'm excited to... Yeah, it could be... Oh, Greg's here. He says, hey, stop Greg. in for a bit. Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> um, it could be, you, you know, like, you could... You could you could replicate it exactly as it is, and it'd be awesome, but mm -hmm. it also would be an awesome setup for, you know... Like so many other things, you could you could do vampire stuff. You could do pirate stuff. You know. Um, oh, you know, altering the. Yeah, just altering just by altering, like an element or two, it wouldn't take much. But. Um, even just adding. Yeah. Not even necessarily taking away. Yeah, exactly. So. So that one's gonna be fun. You could do one-eyed Willie skull. You could. It's a very detailed skull. Um, yeah with the the designs on it so it's a really cool pattern i can't wait to give it a go yeah. again something else i've never done at this point i'm doing a lot of stuff i've never done well i think for a long time you felt like you kind of got into a rut mm -hmm. and you wanted to branch out and become more expressive and and say more things and so you've been experimenting quite a bit, actually. I've been trying. I mean, the car doesn't exactly do it. It doesn't do that for me. No, but it is. But it hopefully is, it helps. It is something you haven't done. It is something I haven't done, so it's always worth doing. Yep. I will learn something from this, even if it's doing a better pattern. And, it, and I think, too, like, as artists, like, it's tempting to just to just draw a paint or, you know, burn what you like. I mean, and that's certainly good advice. You but, should always do that every so often. But, always. But once in a while, it's good to do something foreign to, you, mm -hmm. to your style. You know, foreign subject or something that you're not comfortable with. Because, like you said, you will learn something. And, you know, maybe you learn something that you can integrate into... Uh, Are you learn that you, there's other things you like. Yep. Teresa says, lots of cool shading practice and straight line work. Mm -hmm. For me, like, I'm not a pyrographer, but for me, the challenge that I see with this is not necessarily the straight lines, because like you said, you've got... I've got my home glass ruler. Glass ruler. <coughs> but the, the challenge I see is, like, the uniformity of the burn, because they're such flat, even tones. To me, I think that would be a challenge. I, I wouldn't be able to do it as pyrography. I'm not, I'm not skilled. I would, it would look all blobby. You know? it's, going to, it's lower heat, taking your time. A lot of blending. This is going to be a lot of gradient burns. Mm -hmm. In order to get the shapes right, because the 
Stingray is, is not a straight car. It's got lumps and bumps like a lady, actually. Well, it does. We got lumps and bumps all over the place. I, I thought you were going to break in there. <laughs> See, that's where your brain went. My brain went to the Tom Jones. Like a lady. Oh, from, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's where my brain went. Alrighty. Let's see here. Teresa says she needs more dark, back, dark background practice, too. And I've been doing that as well. She has a tendency to go too fast. Yep. Well, you know, that's hard thing to slow down you know as artists you wouldn't think so but I think most of us many of us I'm not saying most of us but, but many artists are <coughs> something starts turning out and you, you want to see it done yeah. and so you, you tend to speed up you want to get it done so that you can stand back and admire it well you can hold up nausea from a distance I'm gonna post a up close oh behind you. Oh, I, know. I, you I still got to darken her more. For some reason, when you said that, I thought you <laughs> meant hold her up metaphorically from a distance. I, I was, that's why the pause. I was waiting for you to expound upon it. So. Let's see. And see, I can use the 18S to cut and get that curve line. I'm holding it up. Bumped down my heat. I bumped up to four to you're close. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah, I still need to darken all of this, darken her face, darken down here. Yeah, she's getting there. Everything's in. And I changed the pattern, which I don't normally ever do, but there was something I wanted in the piece. Oh, I, <coughs> I know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I wanted a little bit of uh, Easter egg in there. Not that it's really hiding that much. No. Teresa says for sure I can't get them even burned. That's it takes takes practice, but I know you can do it. So this is a stingray. Mm-hmm. You know that that sparked a memory that I haven't thought about for years. When I was a kid, when I was like I don't know thirteen maybe, there was a show on TV about this. I can't I can't remember whether he was a cop. Or he was a private investigator. <coughs> the show was called Stingray. And he drove a black Stingray. And he had a black leather jacket and sunglasses. And he was cool. And he was just known as Stingray. <laughs> and the whole introduction of the show was just various shots of the car. You know? That's alright. Doing the pattern. I realized why they call it a Stingray. Uh, why? <laughs> I feel such a dork. I really do. I never paid attention as to why. You see these fins right here? Yeah. They look like a stingray flying. Oh, okay. The wings of a stingray. I... That's why. Did not know that. I never noticed it until I was, I was laying this out. Huh. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Until I was transferring it, I didn't even notice it. I love Mustangs too, but I've never owned one. I've never owned a sports car. Um, the closest that I've ever came. He won't let me go fast. And you do. And she does, folks. She really, oh, really God. does. Stop. You're breaking the law. That's you. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, you just first wrote the song for me? Yes, I did. Yep. They're like, oh. We'll write this because she can't slow down. Um, I can slow down. I guess excuse me too. Yeah. But I'm safe. <laughs> um, what was that about? <laughs> they, I know you are. Sometimes it doesn't feel safe. Now under here, under the tire, we've got a dark shadow. And when the tire is never perfectly round because it's sitting on something, so it's going to have a flat bottom. So we got to make sure and keep that. You know what's interesting um, is um, back in Alaska, if you live in a place that has cars, uh, like I call the world society. 
society? Well, I, where I grew up, there wasn't any really. So, but um, but you know, your car sits outside all night in in the freezing cold, and then Burl probably can relate to this, I would imagine, and anybody else who's in a, from a really cold climate. Then in the morning, the first time you drive your car, the wheels aren't completely round because the the flat part that sits on the ground. Mm -hmm does not straighten out it does not round out for a little bit so it's like riding in a washing machine for a little bit so it looks like i outlined i did cut it in but this part of the tire is darker and so what i'm doing is trying to get in that dark before i blend out there won't be any outlines on this I, i've seen people who outline because they Maybe it's a habit, or that's... A lot of us start off that way. Yeah. Um, but anytime you're going to put an outline on something, you take away the real, the realistic feeling you're going for. Yes, Barb. The wheels feel like they're square. Square so wheels. Barb gets it. That's... Yeah, I always wanted a Mustang, but I never got one. I don't know, an old 68 Camaro convertible? That's sexy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a sexy car, too. What if I got a 66 Corvette and wore a leather jacket with a pop collar and sunglasses? You better drive it you fast. You call me Stingray. You better drive it fast. Alright. Um, I did have Let's I did own a, um, a, a 530, 530i BMW, and that was, that was really cool. Like, that was, um, it was like an 86, I think, or it was an older car, but it was in really good shape, and it was just, I really loved that car. And, of course, that was a, a German car in Germany. <coughs> Excuse me. It didn't come back with me. Yeah. So, I was sad. I asked I asked um, the girls about that because I used to drive them home from school in that car and we used to open the sunroof, you know, and I was like, do you remember that? And they're like, no. <laughs> so I'm trying to burn the other side of that orange line, pin line, into the tire. Greg has to go. He's hey, got to get back to the job. He says he's sitting in one now in a parking lot. <laughs> sitting in what, Greg? Are you sitting in a are you sitting in a fancy car, Greg? He's probably gonna go before he tells us. I'm jealous, Greg, and I don't even know. I don't even know what car you're sitting in. So I'm flat angled, so I'm using the left leg of the tip. It's the only way I can explain it since I can't really Give it too much of a Greg says, burn long and prosper. Yes, Greg. Yeah, that's his sign off. That's his sign off. Burl says it was really <coughs> cold there. Damp, yes, cold. No, it might get to negative 10 Celsius. That's not, that's not really cold. 10 Celsius. I'm trying to see because a tire is not black. Oh, that's not cold at all. Huh. It's not black all around. We're going to have some light hitting it. Because not only is it round, but it's round this way too. So we got to keep both of those in mind. Greg has a Mustang. <laughs> I used to drive a Mustang. Huh? I used to drive two different Mustangs. Oh, aren't you fancy? <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> it's a little bitter. I guess so. I didn't realize you liked Mustangs that much. I, you know, who doesn't want a sports car, you know? I mean, all, all the time <laughs> when I was flying helicopters, you know, I should have I should have had a sports car. You know what I had? I had an '83 Toyota Corolla. <laughs> it's not a, it's not an aviator's car. Oh, oh that's a 2011 maroon red Mustang. All right, <sighs> nice car, Greg. Well, see you later. Um, yeah, who wouldn't who wouldn't want a nice nice car? If I, if I could afford it, I would buy you a, a Camaro. Mm, I don't know if I'd want one of the new Camaros or one of the new Corvettes. 
be able not to Not sure. I could afford one. I'd have yeah. to I'd have to look. And you could buy me a Tesla. <laughs> Burl says some years they might not get any snow, just lots of rain. Huh. Like Washington. I somehow I just sort of assumed. You know what? Think of Seattle. Like... Yeah, I should have I should have right realized. But I just I don't know. <coughs> so I started off wide and I can always pull it in to even out that circle. I would rather start off wide instead of screw up like I did on the rim. Burl says no sports car for her. 4x4 four four all the way. <coughs> I do enjoy a good 4x4. Four four. Yeah, we like those too. Mm -hmm. We got an SUV. See, that that's, is that's too cool. far apart. Right? SUVs are cool. I screwed up this circle. Sorry, my brain is trying, cool. to, be, I'm trying yeah. to figure out how to fix this because okay. I screwed up that circle. I went, this line is too far out and I should have put it. Luckily it's orange, but it's still light. Photo. So now I got to try to fix it. Mentally, I'm cussing. But things happen, and this is a part of it. How long do you want to go today? My eyes are getting blurry. Well, it's already 11:36. Yeah. Do you want to? Um... Do you want to stop off and talk about the other thing? Well, I know it's posted in a group and I know a lot of people have seen it. But in case you're not in my Facebook group. And I will get some more work done on it. That way we can hit the, the glass and highlights next week. And maybe some of the chrome. And then I think that will be done for the most part with this one on camera. I gotta fix that line. Alrighty. So, in case you haven't seen or not a part of the group, there is a special issue of Biography Magazine out. And let me pop this car off. There we go. Um, it is now available, and I need to put the link down in the description. But, in just in case you got it and didn't know, I'm in the magazine! George! So this is a full write-up um, of wood burning a owl, a great horn owl. How many pages? Uh, looks like they gave me six. Six pages? Yeah, it's got all of your instructions on doing it. It includes the pattern and the tools. And there's a bunch of wonderful artists in here, so if the owl is not your liking, there is a ton of other stuff in here. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. This is a pretty big issue. They did all kinds of things. And I think that's super cool. Yep. Plus, it's a, a professional, it has <coughs> been a professional goal of yours. It has. Getting into... Uh, Wood Burning Mag, it's Pyography Magazine, has been one of my big goals. And there I am. Yeah. There. So I, remember you, I remember you talking about it years and years ago. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, Since wow. the first issue when I, I was. That, to me, that's, that's, that's amazing. You know, it's like you actually you were in it. And that's, um, I mean, and of course, you're in the, the wood. What's <coughs> it? The wood, wood. It's right there. Wood car. It's right there. Wood, oh. We're carving illustrated. Carving mm -hmm. illustrated? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yep, these are my two issues. Okay. And then I'm in. These two. So that, and then you have two books, is it? Or is it one? What are you talking about? Um, you did the... the uh, book. book cover. Yeah, book cover. <coughs> one. One book one cover. cover. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that is pretty yeah. sweet. Uh, Andre is back. So yeah, I will put a link for, uh, Pyography Magazine. Now, 
a woodcarver illustrated that link for my issue that I'm in. I shouldn't say my issue, it's not my issue. The issue I'm in is down in the description. If you click on that, you should just be able to go over to. I need my smart. Um, let's see here. And this is the one that's in Woodcarver's Illustrated. The Ravens. You know, I just noticed when you were pulling that, when you had it stacked, that um, the Raven actually is on the spine. Oops. It's like they say what's in it. So, like, if you've got them on what a shelf. Like, okay, so if they're on a shelf and you've got like, oh, put it away. Right there. Yeah. I did not notice I that. Notice. Is the owl in there? No, it says smoke feathers and glass. Well, and the feathers. Yeah. So. Huh. I And I also never noticed that Pyography Magazine puts at the very bottom, special interest publication of wood carving illustrated magazine. I always noticed that too. Yeah, that's the first time I've ever seen it. I don't know if they've switched it. They are going to try to do more of them. Um, because they were yearly. I don't know what happened. But 2006, 2000. Um, no, it was later than that that they stopped going yearly. Time, times, times are hard. Mm -hmm. But it is a beautiful magazine. Everybody did a fabulous job who is in it. And it's exciting. <coughs> and I need to hang George. You can see. I don't know if you can see behind me. No, I don't have George. The original George I have recorded. He's down there, actually. In the box down there. Are you pointing because you want me to get him? Yeah, please. Oh, okay. We weren't here talking with them last week. And I'm going to bump out so that we have more room. I didn't do it. You broke it. All right. This is the original George on paper. I do have videos for that. I also did record the making of George from the magazine itself. And I was going to turn that into a full blown full-blown paid class from beginning to end, but I need to know how many people would be interested in that because it's a lot of work and I've already got so much going on. So if people aren't interested, that can wait. Burl says you can get it in Canada. <coughs> I guess it'll cost $30 Canadian. But, I mean, if you if you get it ordered, I guess. For now on, Burl, you're not, you and Spence are not allowed to buy stuff like that. If I'm in it, you're not allowed to buy it. I will buy a copy and send it to you. And it'll be a whole hell of a lot cheaper. Because our copy was, what, $10? Yeah, I think so. And then because I spent $20, I got free shipping. Gotcha. Like, I need to buy, like, three more because I get to get one or two more copies of this. Hmm. And then I'll get free shipping. I forgot to buy it when I bought the other one. So, yeah, you're not allowed to because I got something else that I'm... Hopefully starting to work on bro, and you will not be buying that. I will be sending it to you Because that's the least I can do. Yeah, you got <coughs> lots of stuff. Going I got a lot. You of got stuff. a lot of stuff going on. Got a lot kind of, of stuff. a big deal. No, I'm not kind of a big deal, but I got a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> a lot of stuff. Well, you're a big deal with me. Mm, I should be. I better be. Even though... Because of this. Even though I'm just a hobbit. You look like a hobbit right now. See, I can hold your head. I can hold your head up. Look at those cheeks. Gandalf, at those cheeks. stop it. But what about the <coughs> green Gandalf? Why am I Gandalf? I don't know. Why can't I be Galadriel? You could be Galadriel. Mm. Okay. And that fits me better. Alrighty. So next week we will finish this guy up. And then we will start the skull still life and it's really really cool with the dark background so this will be great practice for a lot of different things if we have a halloween stream i could i could dress up as a hobbit i gotta look at the date and then and then you could dress up as galadriel and i could have a ring i could offer it to you you already did two of them i got my rings no oh. <laughs> all right don't forget there's something to say with me you know what it is. You're awesome. You can do this. Why? Because you are a biography artist. Manamana. 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 You're welcome. See you next week. Bye. <laughs> dun, 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 dun.